everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. I want to share with you a project that I've been working on this week and I do have a free printable if you, any of you want to follow along on this. And I'll link that down below, it's on my blog. So you can just hop over there and print this off if you want to create this as well. I want to take the, the moment here and just let everybody know that I do upload a creative type sewing project every Friday. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you want to be notified of my, up, up, of my um, videos coming out. This week's project is this banner and it's a free motion project of this, this whimsical type flower. And the words on it say, some pursue happiness, others create it, which I just think is so fitting. So I hope you have a chance to hop over and print off the printable and sew with me. So let's get started. I'm using a freezer paper to print my printable and there is a paper side to the freezer paper and the wax side and you want the design to be on the paper side. Each printer is a little different. I'm just showing here that on some printers it helps to attach a piece of copy paper with some, with some scotch tape uh, to help it feed through the printer. You want to just test your own. I mean, this is, I just use a regular inkjet printer but you want to test your printer to see how it feeds and also which direction the paper feeds so that you don't print it on the wrong side of the freezer paper. Once you have that all printed off, there are three different sizes to the petals and I'm just rough cutting those out. And you can see my fabric choices there and I'm just using scraps that I have. I'm ironing these so that the wax side is down on the back side or the wrong side of my fabrics. It just so happens that all of these petals I've chosen batik fabric so that they're the same on the right, right side and the wrong side, the same, the same print. But you can use whatever you, you have on, on your, in your stash for these petals. Now I'm just individually cutting these all out and just fussy cutting them and removing the paper. I'm using a, a cotton canvas drop cloth for my fabric. I will have everything listed down below if you want to see my supply lists. Just check the description down below. The dimension on this is 10 inches by 16 inches. I really like the frayed edges on the cotton canvas and I will not be finishing off the edges. I'm just going to let it go with this rustic frayed look. And the dowel will be will be inserted through a casing. I'm just laying my pieces on now, starting with that center flower piece right up in the top left hand corner, and starting with the larger petals, and then just layering these on. You can kind of fiddle around with it too if you decide to follow follow this same design and, and how it how it looks best on your piece and then just layering those smaller petals on the top. I'm using just regular school glue and just putting a, a dot on the very tips of these petals. I want these petals to be somewhat free flowing and more, more of a dimension on them and so I am not using heat and bond light in this, uh, in this um, project at all. I'm just adding a couple dots to my center. And then getting the stem and the leaf in place as well. Before I'm going to be before taking this to the sewing machine, you want to make sure your glue is completely dry, and I am going to be heat setting this, and that just kind of um, makes it just speeds up the time for the drying. I am using a multicolored sulky thread for the flower part, and then the green for the leaves, and the and a brown for the words. I'm at my sewing machine now. And I am starting off in regular, regular speed so you can see how fast I go. I'm going back and forth and then just cutting my thread here, just tying a little knot by going back and forth. I have my feed dogs dropped. 
I have my free motion foot on. I have my stitch length set to zero, and I'm doing the driving on this. I decided I wanted to add a more texture to this center of this flower, and so I'm doing a meander stitch and almost like a, a pebble stitch. That's what I love about free motion because you can draw with thread. This multicolored thread is really fun to work with. Speeding it up here. When I start with the petals, I'm, I'm outlining the petals and then doing one more stitch. Not on the same line, I'm just trying to get off, but each petal has, has two, two um, stitch lines on it. And changing to green thread and we'll be doing the stem and the leaf in the same way. And this is what it looks like. You can see the multicolored thread and all the different um, um, texture in it. This is another piece of that freezer paper with the words. I'm going to just iron that right to the to the top of my banner and we'll be free motioning these words on. If you're not comfortable with free motion you can certainly write with I really love using the Faber Pastel um, pit pens. It comes in four different size sizes and it works really well on fabric. It stays on the top of the fabric and doesn't seep into the fibers like an alcohol or, or a Sharpie does. Again, back to my sewing machine, and you, I am going to be going in regular regular time here at, at the beginning so you can see how fast I'm sewing these, these letters. I'm just outlining right on top of that freezer paper. Now I am sewing with bobbin thread in the bobbin. Bobbin thread's a little bit lighter weight. And I happen to have white bobbin thread on here, and I should have switched to my black bobbin thread. And so I ended up going, after, after I removed the paper, I ended up restitching this again with a black bobbin thread. So just don't do what I did. Just make sure to, to change it to a thread color, the bobbin, a thread color similar to what you're using. I'm using a brown thread on the top. Bobbin thread is thinner, strong, and doesn't have it doesn't fray as much or, or leave as much lint. So I do I do like using it in my bobbin. Just finishing up here, and this is sped up. And going back and dotting my I's and crossing my T's. Removing my freezer paper, this comes off quite easily. I, I do take my, my seam ripper and get into some of the detailed areas. And this is what it looks like after I've re-sewn it with my bobbin, but black bobbin thread. Now I want to cover up the back side of this, and so I cut another piece of my canvas just slightly smaller and quite and, and and shorter and then I'm going to be folding this down and and doing a casing just with a one line of stitching and that back will be stitched in place and this will be a, this these 12 inch dowels just fit really nice in here these are 3 8 inch 12 inch dowels I had a couple pieces of this sari ribbon that I really liked I love the colors with it and so I'm going to double it up and use both of them just tying a knot on both ends And then taking my fabric tack glue and putting a dot of glue underneath that tied on knot just to keep it secure and in place. If you have a chance to try this project, please take me on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye for now.